Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. One of my favorite uh, authors, Barry J. Betzel, why I say that is, is I really like the Moody Bible Atlas. <laughs> he has written a book defending the traditional Red Sea. And I will tell you, biblically, when I read Exodus, there's one passage about it being three days journey that I kind of think that the biblical Red Sea is what we've always believed till the Gulf of Aquaba. Uh, but now I will say there's a ton of stuff at the Gulf of Aquaba that's really unusual and stuff on the other side of that that's really unusual too in the mountain of Moses and Jebel al Musa and all that. So, I mean, I don't think it's a salvation issue or anything like that, but I do want to be accurate. But I am just so thankful that somebody kind of came out with a rebuttal or rejoinder. I remember, I'll tell you how long ago this was, when I, I think I rented the cassette series from Berean 30 years ago or something called the gold of exodus and it was about a guy who snuck into saudi arabia and then there's that real famous archaeologist who's dead he's from tennessee and you know like he kind of thinks he discovered sodom noah's ark and this and then he went on that blood of the uh, ark of the covenant thing that i think he really got messed up in there's a good video on youtube kind of refuting that but I mean, I, he was a great guy. I can't remember his name right now. And uh, so he believed the, the new thing. But this is just um, a defense of the, the traditional. And he's kind of got like this chart I was just showing about that. And he, I'll just show you this chart too. So I highly recommend the Moody Bible Atlas. I think it's the best Bible Atlas out there. And the last I checked, Amazon had it like a lot cheaper than ChristianBook.com. So that's kind of cool. Now you might can hear on the camera the creaking noise. That's Sister Waldron zooming in and out. I do appreciate her zooming in and out. There's been times when I've watched the videos and I hear a creaking noise. But it is what it is. We do the best we can. This is Axe 238 Studios, by the way. And she's my cameraographer, my cinematographer. And Sister Fran, who used to film a lot of the videos, is our uh, uploader. And Brother Mallory's kind of over the whole operation. So the Anglo-Saxon cotton collection map of the world... Um, I mean, he goes into so much stuff, and then he goes into this massive bibliography. The book itself, besides the bibliography, is only like 124 pages. It's not a big book. And so I'm just making you aware it's out there. Some of you that may have jumped totally on board with the uh, hypothesis of the Gulf of Aquaba, you at least owe it to yourself to look at the other side of that if you're even interested you may just be out winning souls living for god raising a family doing great things for god and you don't care about this uh, different people have different ministries so good stuff here well i'm looking at rice paddy fields near ramesses kantar okay so here he goes into the three-day consideration let us take a three-day journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices then Exodus 5, 30, let us take a three-day journey. Uh, don't go very far. Um, here's a brick story. See, and for biblical archaeology, I think I'm going to be able to use all this as well. <laughs> Evidence from biblical sources. Man, he is just such a great scholar. I'll show you some of the... Well, no... That's illustrations. Here's the contents. That's what I was looking for. So pick this up. It's from uh, Lexham Press. Lexham Press. If you want to, I mean, you may not be interested in this subject. I know it's a specialized subject, but I do know the Gulf of Aquaba Red Sea, like the videos, I think, are getting millions of views and stuff. So 
you know, you might just want to look at the other side a little bit. Barry Betzel, where was the biblical Red Sea examining the ancient evidence? Where was the biblical Red Sea? God bless. I'll talk with you later. The entrance of his words giveth light. It giveth understanding to the simple. And uh, we just want everybody to know God's truth. Talk with you later. In Jesus.